Okay, this chapter, you know how I was feeling when I read this chapter, Taizai? Um, I really got vibes from Infinity War with Star-Lord and everyone's just like, when you're watching a film, you're like, the, the helm, the, not the helmet, the gauntlet's nearly coming off and then Star-Lord Star -Lord just comes in and screws up the whole plan. And that's how I felt with Tamiyo. But however, I feel a bit of sympathy for him, not gonna lie. Like, this chapter was really a bit emotional, to be honest, both for Mel, but also for um, Tamiyo because, listen here, this is, this is, um, my thought process of what why i'm kind of sympathetic for tommy like mel's basically like the guy's family or like these guys are brothers these guys are because like they're the archangels they're close um and we know of his character he is sympathetic to people he's emotional he's understanding you know um when they were fighting it was in the flashback arc flashback arc that's like chapter 200 wow that was ages ago um like yeah, when we saw the flashback of the Holy War, and what's his name, Rudasel, all of them, they were all fighting, uh, Derrier, Galan, um, Montspier, all of those kind of things, and they went into the Endurers and that. Elizabeth managed to um, bring Tommy and Soria onto her side of like, okay, let's try and save them kind of thing. So we know that they are sympathetic, they're understanding. So yeah, Tommy basically, with Tommy stopping if you guys didn't actually see what happened from the chapter because at first i didn't understand it the first um on the first read through um so do you know how tomio and sorio they had their graces at them on at mel on either side so basically tomio stopped it because whilst you know um mel was kept getting attacked and attacked by um derrie and even um sorio's grace like he was basically screaming out like why does this always happen to me and like he was even crying as well and Tom, Tom, Tommy L. Is it Tommy L or Torio? I believe it's Tommy. Tommy L started to cry as well. So like, and he couldn't take it anymore. Like he, he realized how bad, um, he realized how bad Mel must have had it. Not only just in that present moment, but throughout these whole three thousand years, throughout doing all these things, and like he just couldn't take it. He couldn't, um, consciously keep on going. Now I know a lot of people are just like, no, nah, Tommy L could have. He sh he was basically the weakest link. Um, yeah, in in some way, yes, but also I'm not neglecting the fact that he, he like he did have a heart for the guy. But yeah, I have to rate Sario because Sario is just a G. He went in with the plan and he went straight through with it. But part of me feels like I don't know. Part of me feels like Mel's just you know showing the crocodile tears. You know, like he's just playing everyone. Now I don't think he's playing everyone maliciously in the sense of yeah, um. Like, he, he's in his right mind. Part of me thinks he's getting a bit insane. I think he's crazy. Um, mainly because of the fact that he is holding in the darkness power, powers, like demon powers, and he, even though he's a goddess. So it doesn't make sense, like light and, and darkness. And the fact that he's been able to mix it so well, it must be doing something with his mind. It must be either um, eroding his mind or like even deteriorating him himself. So yeah, from this chapter though, I, I got the vibes that Mel didn't want to give up his commandment. Like, um, Saria was saying, oh, you know, if you don't give up your commandment, you won't be able to take the grace. And then Mel was just like, well, this is my only hope kind of thing. So I feel like he doesn't want to give it up, which leads me to think, okay, is is he insane? Like, where is Sebastian's head at? Because him, Mel as an archangel, why would he want to continue having these commandments, you know? Um, so yeah, I feel like he is becoming insane right now. His mind is eroding. Uh, and that possibly may be his downfall. But yeah, guys, let's just talk about the last part of the chapter. And I did not see that coming. I really didn't see Derrie getting killed, especially because Montspiet just died. So I'm personally feeling like, Nakaba Sensei, why did you do this? Like, enough is enough, kind of. But it really did hit at home. And that's what I did like about this chapter, because... Um, it was just tense, man. It was so tense. I didn't see it coming. Um, and I did like Derry. I did like her as a character. So I'm kind of sad that she's going. Um, that she's actually dead now. That is her last heart. So yeah, there is no revival. Um, Elizabeth can't do anything to heal her. By the way, what's Elizabeth doing? Um, she should be able to be doing something now. She is a fighter. Um, did you not see her do that massive Jonah's uh fish or something like that? Jonah's whale. How I took out Esther Rose's hashtag. Hashtag. Estrosa slash Mel's um demon dog kind of thing. So yeah, I, I Elizabeth is strong. Um, she was also with, fighting with Meliodas against uh the Supreme Goddess and um what's his name, the Demon King. So yeah, don't get me wrong. I don't. Maybe she's not the greatest fighter like as in hand to hand combat like as in melee. But yeah, she can hold herself. 
she can definitely defend herself. So I do think we'll see something happening next chapter. Maybe, you know what would be pretty cool? Elizabeth to rage out. Like, I think that would be pretty cool to see Elizabeth rage out against um, Mel. Um, let's get some classic DBC moment. Like, that's my friend kind of thing. And it's like, it's over 9,000. Like, let's see some greatness with that. Let's see Elizabeth get a little bit angry. I think that would be interesting for her character as well. Because, you know, her character's always being characterised to be this calm kind of woman. That's always, you know, shouting out Meliodas or running behind her, him. So, yeah. Um... That would be pretty cool, I think. I think that would be pretty cool. But other than that, this chapter was pretty pretty phenomenal. Um, it was awesome to see just Mel as a character. And yeah, like my heart... This is, I don't know. I don't like what Nick Habersensi is doing, to be honest. Um, because my heart goes out for Mel as a character and what happened to him. But like at the same time, I'm also hating him because what he's doing right now. So it's like there's no time for us to be even sympathetic for him. Because the things that he's doing right now is pretty terrible. So it's kind of interesting why Nick Habersensi is doing that. Um... It's like he's basically he's con he's forcing us to not to dislike his character. Is that gonna imply that he's gonna be like the big bad villain? Like he's not gonna turn good anymore? I'm not really sure. I think that's kind of interesting to think about. Um, but yeah, guys, please tell me your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about with Tamio? Um, yeah, do you do you think? What's the word? Do you think it was he was just the weakest link, or like you can understand why he did it? To be honest, I do like Tamio. And I do like his grace. To be honest, I like anything if it's like water, power, and ice. I'm a lover for that. Um. So yeah, I'm a big fan of him. But yeah, guys, till next week. You know what I'm saying? Peace out and goodbye.